Cardi B once admitted she didn't write her songs, and she doesn't care about this because she is more focused on climbing the charts and making money. I like to make money. I don't really give a fuck about being lyrical. I don't give a fuck about this and that. Fans were shocked and erupted. Cardi B was in severe criticism, and her fans also showed their anger. According to fans, she is betraying people because she presents herself as the lyricist, and if she didn't make her songs herself, then she should credit those who make her songs. Cardi B, the Bodak Yellow singer, takes a complete U-turn. Now she is saying she writes her songs and confuses everyone. In this confusion, we want to find out, does Cardi B really make her songs? According to her music listeners, her music is declining. Is it true? And how is Cardi B doing in the music industry? Is her music career at its peak or is she declining? Cardi B, a popular music artist, ranked no seven on Billboard's list of the top songwriters in 2018. This recognition came after a year of her songs dominating the charts. However, not everyone was convinced of her songwriting abilities. In a tweet on June 6th, someone questioned whether Cardi B truly wrote her own music. They mentioned that she admitted to having a team of writers. Cardi B responded harshly, because I do write a lot of my that's the thing. Yes, just like every other artist, I do have a couple writer that help with hooks, but I wrote plenty of songs on my album, especially my mixtape. You just flip and you want to believe T so bad, but eat it up. It's important to note that Cardi B is credited as a writer on every track, even when she collaborates with others. And she didn't mention anyone in credits, despite her mentioning that someone is making her songs and she takes help for editing. But no one gets credit for Cardi B songs except big names who collaborated with her. Yes, she did mention big names, but she didn't mention her team names and treated them as ghostwriters. Before telling you about Cardi B songs, we want to remind you kindly like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Here, you will get detailed information on celebrity topics. We will uncover all aspects of any celebrity case. Our resolve is that we work hard for you so you can get detailed information. So, your support is imperative for us. Cardi B ignited the huge debate. People who support her in her defense say that even big names like Whitney Houston and Celine Dion also did not write their songs. Actors don't write their characters, and it is not a big deal. While people against Cardi B not only criticize her music, but also debate Whitney Houston and Celine Dion, openly admitting to it, she should give credit to the original writers. But she collaborated with many famous personalities and wrote with them. Let's look at her famous songs like Bodak Yellow, Money, and Me Gusta. Bodak Yellow is the most accomplished song in her career, and she becomes the first female rapper to reach Nobrier. One on the Billboard, Hot 100 chart in a long time during the quarantine, it even sparked a popular dance trend. She wrote this song with Kodak Black, Clenard Raphael, Jordan Thorpe, Anthony White, and Laquan Green. Money is another hit she co-wrote. It's about her luxurious lifestyle and not being shy about showing her wealth. It's known for its catchy beat and clever lyrics. She co-wrote this song with Jay White Did It. Cardi B doesn't just write for herself. She also co-writes songs for others. For example, Mi Gusta is a sultry Spanish track she co-wrote with Anita and others. It was a hit in both the US and Brazil. Cardi B teamed up with Blackpink for Bet You Wanna. She co-wrote this catchy pop track with Blackpink and others. Whether she's writing for herself or others, she brings her unique style to every song. So it is evident that Cardi B can write her own songs. In a latest interview, the interviewer is curious about whether Cardi B writes her own lyrics and points out the difference between genuine verses and those crafted by ghostwriters. Cardi B responds by explaining her background and upbringing in New York emphasizing her lifelong love for hip-hop. She also mentions her dedication to studying rap, including freestyling, metaphors, and bars. Despite acknowledging that her vocabulary may not be the greatest, she appreciates her education for helping her piece together lyrics. She chooses to embrace street lingo and sees it as a unique aspect of her music. Cardi B's writing style, collaboration, and contributions to other singers' work are reasons behind her ability to write. However, another question arises. Why is her creativity declining? 
Bodak Yellow remains her biggest hit, yet none of her other songs can match the caliber of this chart topper. While some songs are decent, but music lovers argue about her creativity. She is the reason for this speculation, because she first said she didn't write her raps and created the fuss, and now she is defending herself. Cardi B's career is declining, but there are many reasons for it. Musical pundits also criticize her music as fun for parties, but it might not be considered deep or meaningful by everyone. Cardi B also often gets into arguments with people online, like on social media and blogs. This can sometimes distract from her music and cause more problems. She also has some legal troubles, like court cases involving dancers and arguments with bloggers. These legal problems make her story even more complicated. Lastly, fans have been waiting for her new album for five years since her last big success with Invasion of Privacy. But one thing you cannot take from her, she is strong and she is hanging in the mainstream music world, which is not an easy task. One hit album can backtrack her career towards success in a jiffy. Tell us what you think about Cardi B.